if you remember earlier this year, we talked about Final Fantasy XV coming to Switch and how the developers behind it really, really want to bring it over in some capacity. Now, we don't have an update on that situation, but somehow we have an update on Final Fantasy XIV. That's right, Final Fantasy XIV, the MMORPG version of Final Fantasy that is still alive and kicking to this day. Uh, Eurogamer managed to ask Naoki Yoshida, uh, one of the main people behind the game, uh, about it. And here's what he had to say in terms of bringing it to Switch. I'd like to open it up to as many platforms as possible. We want to include as many players as possible. Not just Switch, even Xbox. If it's interested in this, we'd like to open it up. We'd like to have it on as much hardware as possible. Even though the hardware might be different, they will be playing in the same world. It has to have cross-server function. That's something that's at the core of Final Fantasy XIV. So we'd want to keep that as a policy. We have no intention to divide the servers per platform. We're working with one big community. I'm interested in other platforms, of course. I hope those first parties change their policies or mindsets. I'm an MMORPG gamer. I'd love to have, I'd love to play with many people globally. And we've been talking to those platforms about getting it on their hardware. Positive discussion is ongoing. It's not as if we're not doing anything. We are actually talking to them, and the platform holders are showing their attitude in a more positive way. And it's very clear here that he wants to bring Final Fantasy XIV, which is on PC and PlayStation 4, to Xbox and Switch. But there's one key line in here I want to highlight uh, that really, it sounds like this is basically why it hasn't happened yet. Uh, it says, we have no intention to divide the servers per platform. We're working with one big community. I'm interested in other platforms, of course. I hope those first parties change their policies or mindsets. So if you remember right, what platform holder out there has been blocking cross-platform play? That's right, folks. I'm talking none other than Sony. There it is, folks. The cross-platform play blockers, the only ones blocking it in the entire industry, Sony on PlayStation 4 not allowing games to have cross-platform play is currently the main deterrent from Final Fantasy XIV coming to Switch and Xbox because the makers of the game don't want to divide up the fan base between different platforms. It's, it's insane to me that here we are in late 2017 and we're still talking about the fact that Sony will not budge on their policies. Now, of course, he doesn't name Sony by name here, so I'm kind of inferring that this means Sony. But considering that Xbox, Switch, and PC have open marketplaces with... They already have uh, crossplay out there right now with... Oh, man, with Rocket League. It, it, it really... They're going to have crossplay next year with Minecraft because, you know, the update for Minecraft got delayed. So they're, they're going to have crossplay with Minecraft. There's already crossplay with Rocket League. Any game that wants to do crossplay between Xbox, Nintendo, and PC isn't going to have a hard time doing it. But here we have a game that's already got an established community on PlayStation, on PC, that they want to bring it to Switch and Xbox, and it sounds like they're just held back because they can't have true cross-platform play. Uh, not because it's technically not possible, but because a company has a policy not allowing it to exist. And this is just... Ugh. You guys know my stance on cross-platform play. I feel, and I'm just going to reiterate it here because I feel like this is a very important stance to have. Cross-platform play is one of the biggest, I don't even want to call it an innovation. It, it's one of the biggest positive steps towards consumers that could be made in the video game industry this generation. The fact that we've had to wait this long for true cross-platform play is baffling in that of itself considering how long that we've been dealing with online um, as a main way of playing games. But cross-platform play 
is essential in my mind to the growth and the positivity around games and around gaming communities. Think about all the debate about, oh, is Destiny 2 better on PlayStation 4 or better on Xbox One or better on PC or this and that? Would it even matter if all the community could just play together in the first place? I understand that there is a deterrent here. I, I understand Sony's stance against crossplay. Their thought process is, why offer crossplay when... Uh, we can make people buy PlayStation 4s to play with their PlayStation 4 friends. And I understand that. And when you're the market leader, it's hard to be like, oh man, Sony, bad Sony, bad on you for, for trying to make people buy your system. I just don't think that that needs to be a reason that people buy your system. I feel like you can make your system enticing beyond that and still sell just as many units. What I'm saying is that marketing reason to sell your system shouldn't really be needed to sell your system. And if Sony feels it is needed, then maybe they're doing something wrong and it's hard to say that because again market leader they're about to pass the 3ds in sales they're, they're doing fine but it's just infuriating to me to know that we, here we have a final fantasy 14 game and i don't even know if i'd play final fantasy 14 i love mmorpgs but the problem is i love them so it's hard for me to commit to you know another one i'm still playing world of warcraft so it's hard for me to commit to another mmo um, that isn't, you know, if it was a Nintendo MMO, maybe I'd give it a shot, but, um, MMOs are time sinks, right? You're going to spend hundreds of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hours in the game. And it never ends. Like that's the point of MMOs is that there is no end point to them. So we have to sit back and wonder when is Sony going to just allow crossplay to exist. It's wholly positive for consumers because you can play. I can play with my friends uh, from my Switch. I could potentially play with friends of mine that own PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones in this game in the same world. And that's just amazing to me. Um, I could already do it with Rocket League with Xbox players and PC gamers. It's it's just quintessential to me that. For all the bad crap that people want to talk about has been coming up the past 10 years, whether it's microtransactions and loot boxes and piecemeal DLC, not the good DLC, like The Witcher 3, good DLC, Mario Kart 8, pretty much good DLC, but there's there's been instances, a lot of them, several examples of piecemeal DLC. Nintendo even technically has it with Fire Emblem, um, like gating off content day one and DLC, like that, that stuff. Nintendo does it too, is basically what I'm saying. Nintendo's not innocent, but... In this, this is just one massive positive that we need to see happen before this generation is out. We need all platforms to allow crossplay. Now that Nintendo has finally released a region free system, they were like the last holdout for like a decade for some odd reason. They just kept holding out um, because it's all about the retailers, all about the retailers. Like, whatever. Every other system's region free. Like, that excuse has not been valid for a long time. But now that everything's region free, Nintendo is opening up their platform to allow cross-platform play. And you can argue, oh, of course they're open to it because they're working from behind. Who cares? They don't have to allow that. Uh, Nintendo is doing it because it is a wholly positive thing for their user base. It's a wholly positive thing for the Xbox user base, for the PC user base. And it's going to be a positive thing for the PlayStation 4 user base if Sony would just allow it. And we've had instances in the past where a game accidentally had crossplay enabled for a few hours and people were loving it and they had to shut it down because Sony got mad about it because, hey, you can't have this. Uh, we didn't give permission for it. We, we said there is no crossplay allowed. So. I, I hope that we don't end up missing out on a game on Switch here. In Final Fantasy XIV, the MMO, regardless of if I'm going to play it or not, because of Sony's policies. Sony's policies preventing this game from coming out. I can't blame... This is one instance here. I cannot blame... Uh, <laughs> you know, no, Naoki Yoshida here. I cannot blame him. I cannot blame Square Enix because it's an MMO. The last thing you want to do in an MMO is fracture your player base. That That's one way to guarantee that your MMO is going to sink. Now, you could argue World of Warcraft does it. They have multiple servers. Yeah, but you can move freely between the servers if you want. You can create characters on all the servers. You can have everyone on one server if you want. Um, and it's also a game that's massively more popular than Final Fantasy XIV. So it's dealing in a different realm of things. But if World of Warcraft came to Switch or came to Xbox or PlayStation 4, I would expect to be able to play with the same people that are playing on PC. Um, it, this is what needs to happen at the end of this generation, regardless of whatever happens with microtransaction loot boxes and all the lawsuits going on around that stuff. What I want to happen by the end of this generation is for crossplay to become a staple. 
any multi-platform, multiplayer game should have crossplay. And I'm not even just talking about the MMOs of the world and the Rocket Leagues and uh, whatever else, the Minecrafts of the world. How about Call of Duty? Why can't Call of Duty have crossplay? Why can't online modes for things like Assassin's Creed and Grand Theft Auto V have crossplay? Every multiplayer game that is on multiple platforms would benefit from crossplay. You're putting all the user base in one pool, which is huge. Because it makes people less afraid to buy the game on certain systems because they're afraid there won't be enough people. As an example, imagine if Doom 2016 had crossplay right now. The Switch user base, which is actually pretty active with, on, with the online on it, combined with the PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4, that multiplayer mode wouldn't have died out on the other platforms if all of the people who want to play it were combined into a single player pool. And I understand, especially with Switch, 30 FPS, other versions are 60. There's advantages. The people that are playing at 60 FPS have advantages over the people with 30 FPS. It's factually true, and I understand that, but you know what? I don't think the people playing at 30 FPS are really going to give a hoot about it. Um, I don't think it's honestly going to be this big deterring factor, just like it's not going to be a deterring factor that people on PC might be playing, you know, Minecraft at 500 fps while you're playing it at 60 on a console i, I don't think people are honestly going to care it's not going to make that big of a difference uh for most people's experiences I, I this needs to happen it needs to be a thing and hopefully in the future we end up with final fantasy 14 and any other game that would like to do crossplay that currently is kind of stuck on sony system because sony won't allow it um sony man uh I have nothing against you. I know that it might feel like I have something against you because I generally don't buy your platforms, but there you have a lot of games I'm highly interested in playing. I'm probably going to pick up a PlayStation 4 Pro in 2018. If not, hold out to the PlayStation 5 if it's backwards compatible, but I don't. let's be honest, it's probably not going to be backwards compatible. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to pick up your system as I own a PlayStation 3. There's a lot of games of yours I enjoy, but... This is one stance you need to change. Um, no matter how you want to argue why Xbox and Nintendo does it, it doesn't matter. This is about consumers and doing what's best for them. Anyways, folks, <clears throat> oh, man. I don't know what's up with me today. Kind of got... Ever have, like, this, this tickle in your throat that doesn't go away? Now, imagine trying to record a video for that. Oh, man. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel... Ah, see what I'm saying, guys? Oh, man. I'm Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you in the next one.